He's been in power for nearly a quarter of a century and is the longest serving Russian president since Joseph Stalin. But how has Vladimir Putin managed it? And will he stay in power till 2036? A new year and a new millennia brought a new leader to Russia. Он сможет сплотить вокруг себя тех, кому в новом 21 веке предстоит обновлять великую Россию. On the last day of 1999, Boris Yeltsin resigned as president. He handed the presidency over to Russia's recently appointed prime minister, Vladimir Putin, a man virtually unknown to the general public. But within a few months, Vladimir Putin had secured their support. His handling of a series of Moscow apartment bombings, which killed more than 300 people when he was still prime minister in September 1999, greatly boosted his popularity. The killings were attributed to Chechen terrorists. Putin vowed he would rub them out in the outhouse. Tragedy rallied the people, and a sense of patriotism was in the air. Putin's hard talk seemed to have worked. In March 2000, he won the elections in the first round with 53% of the vote. He was sworn in as president that May. There were, however, lingering questions over who was actually behind the bombings, with suggestions never conclusively confirmed that it was Russia's intelligence services to try and rally the public behind Putin's war in Chechnya. In 2004, Putin won his second election with just over 70% of the vote. His first eight-year term improved living standards for Russians. Economic reforms and rises in oil and gas prices drove growth, and the second terrible war in Chechnya was coming to an end. But the country's fledgling democracy was at risk as controls on the media tightened. In 2006, Russian journalist and human rights activist Anna Politkovskaya, a fierce critic of Mr. Putin, was shot dead in her home in Moscow. Her murder, believed to be a contract killing, led to international outcry. At the time Putin came to power, the constitution specified that a president could only serve for two consecutive terms. When his second term ended in 2008, he struck a deal. He became prime minister, while his protégé, Dmitry Medvedev, ran for president. Though through Medvedev's term, it was clear who was pulling the strings. Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin and four years later, Putin was back in the top job, winning over 63% of the vote. In 2011, though, there was outrage at Putin's expected return to the presidency and over widespread accusations of vote rigging at Russia's parliamentary elections. Thousands gathered in Moscow for a series of rallies for months on end. Mass protests on Bolotnaya Square ahead of Putin's return to the Kremlin. The police responded with force with hundreds of detentions, a security response that would become all too familiar. Accusations of electoral fraud continued during the presidential elections in March 2012. Of course, Putin won. Thanks to the overwhelming support of our voters, this is a fair and honest victory. We've reported about 4,000 violations with an especially dire situation in St. Petersburg and in the Moscow region. We now come to a situation where a substantial number of Russian citizens, first of all residents of big cities, do not recognize these elections as legitimate and do not recognize Vladimir Putin as the president of the country. Putin now faced tougher economic conditions and his rhetoric towards the West became more hostile. Чтобы не говорили наши зарубежные коллеги, мы хорошо видим, что происходит на деле. Фактически, группировка войск НАТО на территории восточноевропейских государств демонстративно усиливается. В этой связи необходимо полностью и в срок реализовывать все запланированные меры по укреплению обороноспособности страны. Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 won him huge popular support, but effectively exiled Russia from the majority of the international community, 
even as his proxy forces in eastern Ukraine continued their war with Kyiv. As expected, Putin ran again in 2018, winning more than 76% of the vote. Again, there were allegations of vote -winning. In September 2021, Russia held legislative elections. Putin's United Russia Party maintained its constitutional majority, taking 320 of 450 seats in the lower house of the state parliament. Footage revealed several instances of ballot stuffing. In 2020, in the middle of the global pandemic, Vladimir Putin signed an executive order calling for amendments to the Russian constitution. Those came into effect in July and effectively allowed for a president to run only for two six-year consecutive terms, whilst at the same time zeroing his. That means he can stay in power until 2036, when he would be 83 years old. He has no real competition. Systemic opposition figures like anti-war candidate Boris Nadezhdin have been barred from running, and former opposition leader Alexei Navalny, a vocal critic of President Vladimir Putin who rose to prominence during the Bolotnaya protests, died in prison just a month before the elections in mysterious circumstances. Mr. Navalny had been behind bars since January 21, when he returned to Moscow after recovering in Germany from nerve agent poisoning, which he blamed on the Kremlin. His family, Olivia. supporters and a host of Western leaders all hold Vladimir Putin responsible for Navalny's death.